Dad Knight here, coming to you from the Batcave, and today we will be discussing Batman Rebirth. So, this comic starts off with Alfred at Wayne Manor, the doorbell rings, he goes to answer it, there's a man standing there saying, I'm here to inquire about the position. Uh, it is later to be revealed that this man's name is Duke. Uh, it doesn't really tell you too much more about him, but I did a little bit of research, and he is Duke Thomas was a Robin in another version of the comic somewhere. It's pretty much all I know about him. His parents as well had fallen victim to Joker's mind control cast as well. So he has gone to go work with Batman. Uh, this then We then skip to a fight between Batman and Calendar Man. Calendar Man shooting at him with these dirty great big guns. Now this is a bit of a revamped version of Calendar Man. So... At the moment, from what I can tell, his plan is he has these spores around the city that he's released and basically going to kill everybody. Uh, Batman's fighting with him, trying to find out where they've been put. He takes down Calendar Man and speaks to Alfred, says, charge my, I don't even know what you'd call it, his taser thing on his head, charge it to full power, and Alfred's like, no, it'll kill you. So like, just do it because everyone's going to die. We need to fry all these spores. So he does it, all the spores in the city get fried, and he basically saves the city. Uh, Calendar Man, however, has got spores in other areas of the city to be released as well. He's got some sort of a machine as well that changes the seasons every day. So this is on a Monday, and currently we are in spring. So then we go to the next day, it's a Tuesday, where it's summer, we see... Bruce Wayne hanging from the helipad on top of Wayne Tower, um, doing chin-ups with one arm, and Lucius Fox comes out, basically telling him how he's saved a bunch of his money that Bruce has somehow fucked up and lost to the police, or some bullshit, I don't even know. And they have a bit of conversation about that. So after that conversation, we skip to the next day, which is Orphan, and we have Batman and Duke in the Batcave talking about Calendar Man. Like I said before, this is a revamped version of Calendar Man, and he's kind of, I guess, like an insect. He ages with the seasons as the seasons pass. Uh, so they're saying at this point he looks older. Uh, later on, he goes on to die, and he's reborn again, and he basically breaks out of his old skin like a new body, like he was in a cocoon, uh, and is born again as a younger version of himself. Still has all the previous memories from his previous life, but his DNA has altered a little bit as well. Uh, so they discuss that and talk about that as well. So after they discuss uh, what's happening with Calendar Man, they go off to try and find the machine that is creating the spores and, and spreading the spores that are going to kill everybody in the city. Uh, Duke is sort of talking with Batman, sort of saying, well, why am I here? I don't think Batman needs another Robin. And Batman basically says to him, I'm not looking for another Robin. I'm trying something different and shows him a suit that he can put on a bright yellow Power Rangers looking suit. It seriously looks like the Batman Ranger. It's, it's weird. Anyways, the following day, Thursday, we've got winter, and they are at the machine in a helicopter. The machine that spreads the spores is underwater. Batman goes down to get it. It's freezing cold, nearly dies in the process, blows it up, and makes it back to the helicopter to fight another day, basically. Uh, that day as well is when the Calendar Man dies, and the following day, the Friday, we are back to summer, and he is born again from his skin. So following this, we just sort of have a bit of a training montage between uh, Bruce and Duke kicking the tree, and they're sort of discussing what's going on with Calendar Man, uh, and the fact that that's sort of that's when it's revealed that he. Um, is a new person at the end of the, the season cycle change uh, and they're just sort of discussing what they're going to do from there. That was the end of this issue. Uh, my thoughts on this one, I honestly I'm not a huge fan of this. Um, I'm all for different versions of characters and things like that but I'll, and I haven't seen a lot of Calendar Man but from what I understand of him he's pretty psychotic and the way he commits his crimes or kills people and does things like that is a lot to do with certain events on the calendar and things like that. And I really liked that idea of the character and to have sort of taken that away to turn him into some sort of weird metahuman thing and releasing spores because 
I don't know. I'm more than a huge fan of that. And then we got Batman's new suit. Now, I wasn't really... Not really into it. I don't like the emblem, the yellow outline. It looks a bit funny. I like his belt. That looks cool, but... Yeah, I'm not real keen. There's been a lot better ones in the past, so... Yeah, not, not really into his suit. Um, like I said before, Duke, um, yeah, great. We've got a new sort of sidekick thing going on. Um, don't know what they're calling him, if they're calling him Robin, if they're calling him something else, but that suit is just atrocious. Like, that's even worse than... You've got the Dark Knight, who's, who's a vigilante in the shadows, and you've got red and yellow and green Robin... But then we've got this bright yellow fucking psyche. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, I'm not, also I was pretty disheartened as well that this is the first of all of these first Rebirth comics that I've read that didn't really tie into the whole story that we've been talking about the whole time. Uh, that was pretty sad, especially considering The Flash has been with Batman um, and working with him and Wally went to see Batman before he came out of the Speed Force and Batman has... Uh, the comedian's pin that came out of the Speed Force that he was investigating, and they didn't really touch on any of that at all, which that kind of disappointed me. So I hope they do sort of go back to that, but they didn't really resolve the Calendar Man thing either, so I don't know where they're going. Um, yeah, this was a bit of a flat read for me. I wasn't really into it, unfortunately, which is sad because I love that one. But, uh, you let me, your, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Give us a thumbs up. That'd be great. While you're at it, subscribe to our channel. And then check out our website, www.frombatcave.com, for heaps of more of our stuff. We have our TV reviews, we've got these DC discussion videos, we've got Nerd Block unboxing, we've got all sorts of other bits and pieces. So get on there, make sure you check it out. Thanks again, I'm the Dad Knight, and I'll see you next time. This has been Cabana Production.